I will be holding her accountable in this video and that's unlike any one of the women that idolize her in her comments. What's up y'all? It's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a new video or if this is your first video, thank you for coming over here. I am from Washington, D.C. I'm a mother and I'm also an entrepreneur. I feel like this week is going to be a whole bunch of me calling people out for what they done said. And they putting their feet, their whole feet, like both of them, in their mouth at the same time. And I don't even know if that's humanly possible. But that's exactly what they doing. First, it was Danny Boy. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, he'll move accordingly. Like, ugh, talk about yourself for once, you know? Or more. Now, we are on to Ari Fletcher. So, today's video will be about Ari Fletcher, a.k.a. the real Kyle sister. Which, if people really call her that, that is just... But anyways, I will be holding her accountable in this video, and that's unlike any one of the women that idolize her in her comments. And I'll talk about the importance of not making comments as Ari did, and what those comments reveal about her and y'all, the ones that gawk after her, and y'all claim y'all not lesbians, you know what I'm saying? Y'all claim y'all not lesbians, but y'all shelling out a whole bunch of money to go wait in line to see her for about 15 minutes in a club, if that, you know, y'all are drooling and gawking, and you swear to God you don't like girls. I digress, but I'm going to keep getting on y'all ass too, you know, because I've done quite a few, maybe, I want to say to round it out, maybe five videos on Aerie, and I kept the same energy, you know what I'm saying? Right off the bat, it's like, I wouldn't want no reputation and just to be known as somebody's baby mother. I wouldn't just want to be known for shaking ass. I would not just want to be known as somebody to stare at. You know what I'm saying? I kept the same energy as far as me talking about plastic surgery. Now, the reason why I do not glorify plastic surgery and things like that is because it's a lot of health risks involved and it's a lot of insecurities involved and then they act like a surgery is supposed to make them confident and it's supposed to you know help them channel this inner bad bitch and they still the same insecure girls that they started out from before they got on the table so plastic surgery doesn't work and if you're not wanting to get pregnant in the next five years maybe two two to five years i suggest you don't do that it promotes pregnancy you see carmen carmen from carmen and corey she didn't got pregnant again so my prediction was right now let's keep focused on what we need to talk about i never been here for Aries personality. I feel like she gives off a very rude vibe. And maybe that's the vibe of Chicago, you know. Maybe that's the vibe of a lot of Chicago women. I don't know. You know, do I want to find out? No. To be honest with you, I don't. I do not want that level of ghetto around me. I don't want no friends like that. And you, you see how sick people is like they think shit like that is fun to be play fighting around a house and tearing up a fucking house and that's supposed to be fun that's not fun i'm not fighting no gay men play fighting or not because i get serious you know it's certain levels to ratchet it's certain levels to ghetto and i'm from the hood that i'm willing to go to you know what i'm saying and, um, you know, it sucks to see that 
a lot of people accept her solely because she knows how to shake her ass, you know? Speaking on Ari, speaking on Jada, speaking on Jania. And I'm not saying they ugly girls, but come on now. If they didn't have hips and ass, they would not be as gawked over as they are. They really wouldn't. If they didn't wear the most revealing things that they could, they would not be gawked over. Because there's been much more beautiful women who have had clothes on. You know what I'm saying? It's something about having clothes on and leaving things to the imagination that I respect for women to do. I'm not saying we got to cover up totally or nothing like that. And I'm not telling you exactly what to wear, but that's just not my way. You know, it, it created this whole wave of girls dressing like that. It's girls dressing like that. And you ain't got no proper transportation home from the club. It's girls dressing like that and got a distance from the metro station to their house. And they got on that revealing shit. Do you think that's safe? It's not. Those girls have money for protection. And it's money from y'all. It's money from the, the fans. And they shouldn't even have fans because for fans, you got to have talent. What is their talent? You let me know. To like somebody's personality is one thing. You can like a dog's personality. But why would y'all fuel these girls to feel like they can say anything and get away with it? They can say anything and the most ignorant things. And y'all can just let it fly by. She did an interview with a little lady. Okay, I think her name is L'Oreal now that I'm thinking about it. She had kind of like a flop rap career or whatever. And now she talks about sex a lot and I guess relationships if she even have one. But you know what I'm saying. So they were having an ignorant sexual conversation and Ari was basically saying that she would love for a guy to pull a gun on her and if she's in the midst of leaving, you know, if she like, oh, I'm about to pack my stuff up and go. You want him to pull a Glocky out and point it at you. And that will show you automatically 100% hands down that he wants you to stay and that he loves you. That's the most toxic thing that a woman of today can say. You know, it's, it's the most toxic, it's the most ignorant. And you know what it reveals? It reveals that, you know, maybe it's a good thing for your parents to shelter you and for them not to show what happens in their relationships and things like that. But um, at the same time, it shows that she was sheltered a little too much from reality. Do you know how many in the last five years, but I can go back 10, 15, 20, 25. Do you know how many men have pulled a gun on their girlfriends, their wives, baby mothers, which ain't either of those. Pulled the gun out, pointed it and fired. Do you know how many women are not here today because of that? Because they were finally ready to leave and they were really ready. They were really ready to leave and start anew. And you playing fucking games. And and I'm calling out all of her fans. Y'all come on my comments and y'all gonna get a taste of what y'all deserve. Because y'all are delusional. There's a new study that says that people who idolize on these social influencers are less smart than the average bear and i'm talking about humans but i'm trying to say the same right so you're less smart than me that's number one number two it not only shows a lot about airy it shows a lot about y'all too domestic violence is not cute domestic violence is not it's not to be glorified and it shows that y'all ain't never been through nothing that can relate to my life 
and can relate to a lot of people's lives. Girl, podcast is going up like it's lit. All y'all with the gun, oh, do you want your man to, nobody cares because one, you probably don't even have a man. And two, if somebody wants their man to pull out a gun on them, that's what they want. Like, nobody cares. Joking or not, like, it's none of your business, first of all. That's one. Stop trying to do a thing. Like, why y'all always trying to victimize yourselves into, like, what do y'all be trying to do? Like, do you want your man to, what? And then y'all already know I don't even like the block. Like, stop. Just stop. That alone is very triggering. And it could have mentally broke us. It could have made us grow into these young women and think that the only way a man can show me that he loves me is putting his hands on me. And I'm so glad that I don't have that mindset. So glad. But do you know how many women do? And that's a part of it right there. But you've never had to heal from those bruises. You've never had to, you know, still push through and go to work. And you feel like you've been hit with several sledgehammers. You've never been through that. None of y'all. And as I scrolled, because I got comments, I screenshotted comments, and this was right after the video came out of the live of her saying, we do not care about domestic violence victims, basically. Okay? Because I'm going to sum it up. I will put the video, I probably already did, but y'all ain't never been through nothing. And y'all can't relate to nothing that's real. And it's so crazy. If you are a fan of a person that's not a real celebrity, I feel so sorry for you. I truly do. Be Go be a fan of Leonardo DiCaprio and maybe he can teach you something. What can Ari teach you? How to be ignorant and how to say things like that that triggers a lot of women, including Rihanna. How could you say something like that and still be wanting to get paid from a sponsorship with Fenty? Oh, I love me some Rihanna. Oh. <laughs> and a woman who knows her responsibility and her duty would never put her foot in her mouth like that. Has Rihanna ever? No. She has never said something so ignorant that she gets a whole bunch of shit taken away from her. And I hope that people start to open their eyes. As I scrolled, you can see this was literally right after the whole controversy and the, the video came out of the live. This was after Rihanna dropped her from the sponsorship and took her completely off the website and you see how many people is still saying very very nice things comments and heart eye emojis and things like that shame on every single one of y'all and it was a lot of people that saying okay y'all dragging it now what if a person that you love was getting dragged what would you do? Tell me. Because if you saying that the ridicule and the criticism and telling her that she's wrong is us dragging it, what would you do if a person that you love is getting dragged? Domestic violence. A lot of y'all don't even know what domestic violence is. Y'all have no idea what family violence is. Y'all have no idea the levels of toxicity it can go to. The levels of toxicity. Y'all have no idea and y'all not in touch with reality. She don't care about y'all. She love to collect the funds from y'all. But she do not care about y'all. She don't know y'all name. Y'all not cousins. Y'all didn't go to school together. 
She don't know none of your family members personally. She don't got your number. Y'all don't text. When when all of that is no, 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 that means that y'all are really obsessing. That's what that means. Y'all riding for somebody that wouldn't in turn ride for you. You paying somebody bills that would not in turn pay yours. You spending hours creating a fan page, a fan page, and just uploading her pictures and probably ain't even seen a picture of yourself in months. Y'all got to really reevaluate y'all lives this year. Please, because I will continue to get y'all together in the comments moving forward. I mean, do you know how many of her fans came to my other videos talking about her and completely cussed me out? And I mean, I probably read her for filth. You know what I'm saying? Rightfully so. But y'all grown. Probably don't even work a job. The fan pages ain't paying. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing nothing to profit you. You're not looking out for you. You're looking out for somebody else. Cut it out. It got to end. The obsession needs to stop. So, I feel better now. It's, it's very sad. And watch. Nobody, the mass majority is not going to want to cancel her. And shout out to Lisa Ray for saying that these social media influencers are not real celebrities. Real celebrities know the responsibility and the weight that their words will carry. They think about what they have to lose. Ari don't feel like she got to lose nothing. Because y'all still going to want to come see her in the clubs shaking ass. It's pathetic. And hopefully, you know, I feel like what's going to happen to y'all is y'all are going to wake up one day and be 35, 40 and ain't completed shit because... You set up in the prime of your life gawking over somebody on social media that you probably will never meet or have a close relationship with. Every wrong, y'all wrong. For real. Stop idolizing these people who ain't got nothing worthy to say. And fuck with a real bitch.